Good morning, kids. Let's talk about Box Trademark. We're back in 1949. This is the first of the dispensers. Everything before this was in a tin. Uh, Edward Haas III wasn't interested in having people share peppermint candies by touching them. So he hired somebody back in the late 40s to design this. A guy named Oscar Usha, or I don't know how to pronounce it, U-X-A. And he designed this thing. Got a patent on it in 1952. And that's the 2.6 patent that we all know. But before uh, the patent was issued, they used box trademark and box regular. So we've got six box trademarks to look at. You've got your standard fare. There's the box and it says trademark right there. That's where the patent numbers will be in most of our collections. And this is, uh, you can see they've all got the same heads and they've got the same kind of pebbling between the letters on here. So this one's green on black. Nothing particularly interesting about this other than um, I find it kind of interesting that you've got the shadow on both sides of the letters. Uh, I tended to think that the non-shadow stems were the first, but nope, nope, we're looking at shadow stems. Green on black, or rather black on green. Let's see, let's do the light blue. Same thing here, blue with a white uh, cap, box trademark, shadowing on both sides, and yellow on black. John's book will say yellow with a white cap. I can't imagine somebody went to the trouble of switching the cap on a box trademark. I could be wrong, but here we are. Yellow, black, shadow on both sides. Now, some cool stuff here for the remaining three. You've got this guy, and it's just your normal box trademark. It's got your shadow on both sides, but it's got this printing right here on the side. This is made for Air France. It's, uh, you can't really see it on here. Let's see if we go down to the end. You can almost see like there's a lacquer on top of the black letters. Keep it from peeling, perhaps. Almost like somebody took a nail polish brush and just went over this uh, spine. And I look on the other side and we see it's there too and maybe a little bit clearer on the lacquer down at the end. You see right after the E, how it goes from kind of a shiny to a matte finish? That's the lacquer coming to an end. Uh, so what's neat about this one, I think, is you've also got the green sleeve. So that's, and that's cool for all kinds of reasons. We've got a green mono, box trademark, Air France on the side. Now this one, I'm not sure which one to show you next, this one, probably the other one, of course. This one's what you call salmon marbleized. You can see it's got these red and white swirls in it. Just your standard white sleeve. And again, box trademark, uh, shadow on both sides. Lastly, we've got box trademark on red, red mono. However, as you can see right here, you've got the locking cap. Now, it's a bit of a misnomer. That is not actually locking, but what it does is it kind of snaps into place. This is the, you'll see later in life, we've got uh, little bumps you'll see on your current dispensers, little bumps on the inside of the sleeve that hold it in place. This guy, the locking cap, has just on one side a little groove cut into the sleeve, a little bump, a uh, circular bump on the, sorry, a groove cut into the stem, a bump on the sleeve, and it just fits right in. Nothing on the other side other than the box trademark. What you want to look for with these, because there aren't a lot out there, there's red and there's ivory or white. Uh, you want to look, of course, for cracks, but, uh, particularly look inside. There's, I don't want to say a bunch, but there's some out there that are missing some of that circle. There's some out there with cracks in the sleeve. You want to make sure that if you're paying what these things tend to cost, that, uh, that you've got what you're paying for. That's it for Box Trademarks. That's 1949, the first of the Pez dispensers.